Hey Familia, Miranda here, back with another movie haul. So today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you everything that I picked up from Hamilton Book. Uh, it is quite the haul, you guys. It had been a minute since I had picked up anything from Hamilton Book, and so I went all out, you guys. To be specific, I got 40 titles here to show you guys in this <laughs> big old box right here. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> um, there's several upgrades, there's some um, blind buys, some recommendations, and also just some things that I didn't have in the collection yet, so a little bit of everything today, you guys. So let's just go ahead and get into this. Um, if you're not familiar with Hamilton Book, it's not just books, you guys, they got movies, um, but you can definitely find some, like, discounted price movies. Um, they have recently been getting in a lot of like Kino Lorber, Aero titles, uh, all the films, stuff like that, like boutique titles and stuff. And they're a little past my price point, so I don't typically go for those titles. I'm kind of more of a cheapo and I go for the uh, <laughs> super cheap titles. Um, I think mostly everything I got was between the four and six dollar range. There was one title I paid like 15 for and a couple that were like $8. But other than that, everything else, like I said, between the $4 and $6 range. Um, it's mostly Blu-rays. I think I got like maybe three or four DVDs. And there's a couple of really cheap 4Ks in here, you guys. Um, so it's just all mixed in. Um, yeah, <laughs> just Hamilton Book is awesome. Like I said, I hadn't purchased in a while. So I decided to just go ahead and get a bunch of things that I had like on my wish list and stuff like that. Some upgrades, all that good stuff. Um, typically, yes, you can sometimes find some of these uh, titles at Dollar Tree. But if you can't find it at Dollar Tree, definitely check out Hamilton Book. It may not be a dollar, but it's still cheap and still worth it, I think, in my opinion. Um, but anyway, <laughs> enough rambling. Let's just go ahead and get into this. So like I said, I'm just going to pull things from the box no specific order. Um, so first up, we have Blended. I freaking love this movie. Just another awesome example of Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore's chemistry. Like seriously, they should just make movies together all the time. And then you also have an appearance by Terry Crews in here. And even though it is so minimal, so random, he is so flipping hilarious. Just absolutely love this movie. It's a good time. It's so funny. And so dumb at the same time so just an awesome sandler barrymore film next up is this movie called joy now i mostly got this for the cast i mean jennifer lawrence robert de niro bradley cooper awesome um but definitely it did capture my attention um it is from the director of the fighter silver linings playbook and american hustle um so his name's david russell it's from 20th century fox um, and it came out, I believe, in 2015. So we have Joy here. And yeah, it's one I've kind of had on my radar for a little while. And so I finally decided to go ahead and pick it up, check it out. We shall see. But it definitely sounds very interesting. Next up, I went ahead and upgraded Midnight Special. This has an excellent cast. Um, we have Michael Shannon, Joel Edgerton, uh, Kirsten Dunst, Adam Driver, and Sam Shepard. It was definitely an interesting watch, but I actually really enjoyed this one, so I wanted to go ahead and upgrade it. It is written and directed by Jeff Nichols. Alrighty, next up, we have the remake of Poltergeist. I actually have not seen this version. I've seen the original many, many years ago. So I decided I would go ahead and pick up the remake here and uh, go ahead and check it out is the extended cut. Um, the next up, this title is the one that I actually paid the most for. Um, it really caught my interest and I actually feel like I've possibly seen this film before. I was watching the trailer and it looked kind of familiar. Um, it is like some sort of a horror film and um, it just, I believe it's actually a Danish film if I'm not mistaken, um, but it's called The Ringmaster and it definitely looks fun. It looks kind of gory. Like I said, the trailer, like snippets of it just kind of reminded me of a film that I'd seen and so that's kind of why I wanted to pick this one up um, and just, you know, check it out. Um, it says The Ringmaster Entertainment Knows No Boundaries. Um, though I believe this also goes by another title, uh, finale, 
or however you want to pronounce it, uh, finale, finale, I don't know. Um, but like I said, it is like some sort of a Danish film. Um, I don't really recognize any of the cast in here, obviously. Um, it's an MVD visual. And uh, the director, Soren Jewel Peterson, not familiar with them, but yeah, the ringmaster, like I said, looks pretty interesting. Um, again, the trailer, it was like, you know, kind of gory, kind of fun, kind of a torture film, if you will. Alrighty, next up, this one came recommended from a friend. We have Cold in July. Said it was really good, so I thought I would go ahead and check it out. You have Michael C. Hall, Sam Shepard, and Don Johnson. I've never seen this. I'd never even heard of it until uh, my friend had mentioned it, so I went ahead and picked that up. Next up, we have this movie here called Feast. I went ahead and got this one because recently Tim Talks Talkies, he, uh, did a video and he uh, had some things that he hauled from Hamilton book and so I went ahead and uh, picked this one up uh, per his recommendation. It says from executive producers Wes Craven, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, and Chris Moore. Um, that cover though looks pretty uh, crazy there. Uh, looks like a fun watch. Some gore maybe. Um, so looking forward to checking that one out. Then this one here is an upgrade. I actually just recently got this too from Dollar Tree like a couple ways back. And then boom, it, the Blu-ray is on Hamilton. Uh, Kira Knightley, Chloe Grace Moritz, and Sam Rockwell in Laggies. Then we have this movie here starring Josh Lucas, John Hamm. It's called Stolen. Uh, this one looked like a pretty interesting watch. So I want to go ahead and check that one out. Then I, I did go ahead and uh, upgrade. Some Like It Hot with uh, Marilyn Monroe. Um, I have actually never seen any of her films. And uh, well, like I said, I have the DVD, but I felt that Marilyn was very deserving of uh, the Blu-ray treatment. So I just went ahead and uh, upgraded it. So I, I definitely need to watch it now. <laughs> um, the next title here is one that I had actually believe was in like a Dollar Tree wave like last year, early last year. I never did find it. Um, you have Casey Affleck, Jessica Alba, and Kate Hudson in The Killer Inside Me. It was one that caught my interest, so I was happy to see that they had this on Hamilton Books, so I had to jump on that. Next up, believe it or not, I did not have this one in the collection. We have Jim Carrey and Renee Zellweger and me, myself, and Irene. It has been so, so long since I've seen this one, so I'm looking forward to revisiting. And then I did go ahead and pick up uh, the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original movie. This was the only one that I was missing. I picked up all the other ones Oh. Uh, long time ago <laughs> at Dollar Tree and this was the only one that I never did find. I don't know if this specific one ever did show up at Dollar Tree. Um, I only ever found the other ones um, but I am just happy to finally have this one because I was literally about to just buy the uh, like four movie set and then here we are on Hamilton Book. So uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles original movie. Um, and then, you guys, I was happy that they had these. These are actually 3D Blu-rays, you guys. Um, they are upgrades, but they do also include the, um, you know, regular Blu-ray version, not just the 3D. But we have Clash and Wrath of the Titans. We absolutely love these movies. Honestly, anything that's kind of like Greek mythology, stuff like that. Um, me and hubby are so down for those kind of things. Uh, so we absolutely love these movies. And so these, we just needed the upgrades, you guys. So we have Clash and Wrath. I'm curious though, I'm going to oh go ahead and open this, uh, because sometimes the 3D ones, they'll have them on separate discs, but sometimes it's like in the menu. So when you go to the menu, it'll have you either pick 3D or the other one. So I'm just kind of curious, um, as to... Okay, so it is, it's separate discs. You can see here, um, you have the 3D and then the regular Blu-ray there, so yeah. So that's actually good. I kind of prefer it like that instead of like the whole menu thing. All right, so Clash had the Blu-ray and the 3D Blu-ray. Wrath actually has the Blu-ray, the 3D Blu-ray and the DVD in here, you guys, so that's pretty cool. 
All right, this next movie I had to get because you have Danny DeVito and his wife, Rhea Perlman, in the ratings game. I know absolutely nothing about this, but it looks so much fun, you guys. Um, and oh my gosh, they just, they look so young there. <laughs> so, so young. And I just, I love Danny DeVito. He is so funny, you guys. He is just He's hilarious. So I had to go ahead and scoop this up. It just looks like a great time. Um, one of the 4Ks you got, and actually both of the 4Ks that I got are Westerns, <laughs> surprisingly. So adding to the Western collection, um, the 4Ks that I got, they were only five bucks a piece. Um, whether they're any good, I have no idea. But we have Stagecoach, the Texas Jack story. Um, so it is obviously based on a true story on this Texas Jack. Um, but you have uh, Tracy Adkins, Judd Nelson, and Kim Coates. Again, 4K in the Blu-ray. Um, looking forward to checking it out, you know? Like I said, I'm not the hugest Western fan, but when you see those $5 4Ks, uh, you got to scoop them up. Like, it don't matter how bad they are. <laughs> But we have Stagecoach here. Um, then this film right here, um, you have, I can never pronounce her name, Sayorsi Ronan, um, How I Live Now. This one too definitely caught my interest, the story of it. So going to be checking that one out. Then we have a kind of classic here, in my opinion, Vigo Mortensen, Maria Bello, uh, Ed Harris, and William Hurt. I have not seen this one in a really, really long time. Um, and that is A History of Violence. And then this is actually kind of a the beginning of a series of movies that I wanted to see. And actually, I didn't know about this one. I had the, I believe it's the second one. Um, that I had kind of saved on my Amazon wish list, and then thanks to Marie, um, she was the one that told me that um, there was one before it, and so we have After. Um, I know she just recently watched these, and I mean, it's like obviously some sort of like a love story, I guess, unrated version. Um, I've never read the book, so I don't know anything about this. But it definitely was something that kind of seems right up my alley. So I want to go ahead and check it out. Uh, so now I'll just have to see about getting um, the other one, the second one. I'm not sure how many are in the series, but I know the second one is after we collided. And this one is just after. All right, moving along, I did go ahead and upgrade my uh, In the Electric Miss, Tommy Lee Jones. Uh, then I needed to go ahead and get this because I did not have this one in the collection. We have Jackie Chan in Rumble in the Bronx. Such a good film. Classic Jackie Chan. It's been a while since I've seen it. Looking forward to revisiting. Um, this title right here was actually one that I believe this was one of the $8 ones, but it definitely caught my interest. I'm not sure if this is like Japanese... Uh, I believe it is like some sort of like a Japanese anime It's from 2011 97 minutes long and it's called the king of pigs the story definitely caught my interest here um, basically this I guess the guy he like kills his wife or something and um, he has all these like flashbacks of his uh, days in school and just like all the abusive things that he went through and how they like shaped his life and stuff like that. So it definitely caught my interest. Um, sounds kind of sad and stuff. So I mean, you know, some sort of like I said, Japanese anime, if that's what you want to call this. So the King of Pigs. Um, then I went ahead and upgraded another 3D actually, uh, Monsters vs. Aliens, but again, it does have the regular Blu-ray version in here. The kids absolutely love Monsters vs. Aliens. Um, it's alright. It's not like my favorite DreamWorks, but, uh, it's decent. Um, and then I did also go ahead and upgrade The Art of War. I do have this in a snapper case, I believe. Um, I believe I do um, but I'll still be keeping the snapper case that's the only time that I kind of like double dip on movies is when I have something in a snapper case uh, you know and I want to pick it up on like blu-ray or whatever then I will double dip but other than that I normally don't um, but we have the art of war Wesley Snipes another good one another classic probably haven't seen it since like back in the 90s 
All right, next up is another upgrade here. And I was actually surprised. This one actually came with a slip, which was pretty cool. Wasn't expecting that, but we have The Boy. Um, I got the DVD from Dollar Tree and I watched it and I actually really enjoyed it. I'm not gonna say like I loved it, um, I didn't hate it, but it was enjoyable. It was kind of creepy, kind of weird. Um, and the boy, he was just kind of strange and very disturbed. Um, so yeah, I, I did. I enjoyed this film quite a bit. So if you haven't seen it, definitely, you know, at least give it a watch. But yeah, we have the boy. I went ahead and upgraded Misery. Um, it does have the little art card on the front. Um, and I actually, <laughs> I still haven't seen this, you guys. <laughs> No, I have not seen Misery, but again, it's another one that I felt, you know, everybody always raves about this one, so I just felt like it needed the Blu-ray treatment, and so, like I said, I'm trying to upgrade as many of my DVDs as possible, slowly but surely, um, and especially, like, my horror ones. I have, like, so many horror movies on DVD, and pretty much, like, all of them have Blu-ray releases, so, uh, yeah, I need to kind of start upgrading my horror stuff. Um, we have Life. I have not seen this one yet, but I mean, you know, you got Ryan Reynolds and Jake Gyllenhaal in here, so, uh, you know, can't go wrong with them too. Um, then we have Steve Martin in Roxanne. I've actually never seen this one, but I've been super curious about it. It looks interesting. Um, I'm a little sad that this one didn't come with a slip because I think the one that if you order off of Amazon, it does come with like that retro VHS slip on it. Um, and though this was like a few bucks cheaper on Hamilton Book, I'm still kind of bummed that it doesn't have a slip with it. Um, the other 4K that I got, like I said, is another Western here. Uh, we have Luke Hemsworth, Trace Adkins, Chris Christopherson, and Bruce Dern in Hickok. I've never seen this, um, but again, adding to the Westerns. Um, and then we have this movie here with James Woods and Robert Downey Jr. And that is True Believer. And it has, again, that like retro VHS slip cover, which I kind of dig those are kind of cool. And then the artwork on the actual film itself looks like that. I've never seen it, but it sounds really good. It's some sort of a like kind of courtroom drama full of uh, corruption and conspiracy and stuff. And it just sounds like a really great film. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out. Next up, we have this film called Into the Abyss. This is based on a true story about a triple homicide that happened in Conroe, Texas. Um, I'm not sure what year it happened. Um, but it seems like a very intense documentary. Um, they, you know, there's talk with like the real victims and all of that. And it just, I am so into these kind of things, especially, you know, like this true crime kind of stuff. So we have Into the Abyss. Um, uh, this one probably isn't going to be very good, but nonetheless, it caught my interest. Um, so I'll check it out and see. We have I Sell the Dead. Sounds kind of cheesy with a title like that, but we'll see. Um, another 3D. So yeah, they got a lot of like 3D Blu-rays on Hamilton right now, but love this one. Love Jack Black. This film is just fun. It's hilarious. And there's just other, you know, great faces in this film. That is Gulliver's Travels. I've actually never seen the original version of Gulliver's Travels, which I need to. Um, but I don't know if it's going to be, you know, if it's like as funny as this one is because I mean, come on, it's Jack Black here, you guys. Uh, so got the remake of the Amityville Horror. This one is the 2005 version. And then another film here that came recommended is Middle Men. Really great cast. Uh, you have Luke Wilson, Giovanni Ribisi, uh, Gabriel Macht and James Can, and it is inspired by a true story. So again, right up my alley. You guys know I'm a sucker for those true stories. 
So we are down to the DVDs, you guys. Almost done here with this haul. Like I said, I know it's a long one. Um, <laughs> I went a bit too crazy, you guys. Um, this one though, um, I saw Geriatric Geek haul this one. And it is a anthology, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. That's why I got it. Because I don't know, I've kind of been really into like those horror anthologies, but it's called To Die For. Not, it looks weird the way they put it, like t die two for, but it's to die for. Um, and yeah, it's some sort of, oh, that's kind of creepy looking. Some sort of a horror anthology. So I'll check it out and see. I don't know if it's going to be any good. Probably not. It's probably going to be super cheesy, but hey. Um, <laughs> next up, we have a murder in the park. This is based on a true story. And this is the story of Anthony Porter, um, who was sentenced to death for the murders of, uh, it looks like a couple of teenagers in Chicago's Washington Park that was back in 1983. But then in 1998, a group of university students were, uh, started reinvestigating the case and came to find the real killer, um, who he was later, um, you know, well, Porter, he was later released after several years of being, you know, like on death row and stuff like that. Um, not necessarily death row, but, you know, he was, like I said, sentenced to death, um, but he was released and stuff. And so it's just kind of a glimpse at the broken criminal justice system. And it looks like, I don't know if it's still to this day, but... Um, like basically this group of like journalists and lawyers and students were fighting to um, abolish the death penalty in Illinois. So definitely looks like a really good watch, you guys. I'm excited to check that one out. Um, this probably isn't any good, but hey, uh, I watched Richie Rich as a kid and uh, sadly this doesn't have Macaulay Culkin in it, but we have Richie Rich's Christmas Wish. I just got this one to add to the Christmas collection. Go ahead and check it out, but I don't expect much from it. And then last but not least, you guys. So <laughs> this DVD I'd actually found at Walmart a while back and Dumbo Me, for whatever reason, skipped over it. And I don't know why, um, but now this specific movie, I want to have like on all formats possible, all like artworks possible. And um that is Selena. <laughs> so yes, I already have the DVD with the typical artwork that has kind of like the black background and she's in that one um, kind of purplish kind of jumpsuit looking outfit, you know? Um, and I do also have that same artwork, but in a snapper case. I still need to upgrade to uh, Blu-ray, but I wanted this specific artwork, you guys. Um, so, oh my goodness. Selena, I absolutely love this movie, you guys. I know she passed away when I was like five. Was I five or six at the time? I think it might have been five, but boy, do I remember that day. I was bawling my eyes out on uh, my other older sister. She was crying too. Like, it just felt like the world died that day that Selena died. And it was just so, so sad, you guys. But I've always been a huge fan huge fan of her music and honestly I don't think that they could have picked a better person to play Selena. Jennifer Lopez did an excellent job though <laughs> the uh, community was not very happy when the family chose Jennifer Lopez to play Selena because they were very upset about having these auditions, having all these you know, girls audition to play Selena and then for them to go and pick a celebrity to play the part. Like, yeah, the public was pretty upset about that. Um, and actually, so I, it was funny because I was looking actually the other day, just uh, like some fun facts and stuff about, um, the movie Selena. And, um, so the girl, the lady that plays the mom in this movie, she actually originally tried out for the role of Selena, but she didn't get it. So she got the part of the mom. And then the, um, the girl that plays the sister, like the, the actress that plays the sister when she's older, um, I guess they originally did not want her for the part. 
but I guess she was the only one that did good in the audition to play the part, so they had to go with her. Um, and also, the guy that plays Selena's husband, John Seta, uh, him and the real Chris Perez, they are like really good friends in real life, so that's kind of cool. But yes, you guys, Selena, Jennifer Lopez in it, just an excellent cast in here. Edward James Olmos, um... Um, 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 like I said, John Seda plays her husband, uh, Constance Marie. So she's the wife on George Lopez. She plays the mom. And then Jacob Vargas, just an excellent, excellent cast. And it's just a lovely, like, adaptation of her life and everything. And it's just, ugh, I love Selena, you guys. And I, I just, I needed this artwork and I was stupid to pass over it at Walmart when I saw it, but I have it now and I am so, so happy. So that is everything for this huge Hamilton book haul. Guys, if you're on a budget and looking for some cheap movies, definitely check out Hamilton book. They got some good stuff. They do have in steel books. They have 3D movies. They have DVDs, Blu-rays, 4Ks. Like I said, they do have a lot of other like pricier titles, boutique titles that they have been getting in recently. It's just kind of, you know, far from my budget. I kind of like to try and get the most for my dollar when it comes to Hamilton book. Um, but still like the Kino titles, Arrow titles, you're still saving at least a few bucks than if you were to buy off of like Amazon or the site itself. Um, so yeah, definitely check out Hamilton book. They drop new titles once a month. I believe for the month of September, it's going to drop on the 20th, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, roughly like once a month, sometimes like middle, third week of the month I th that they do it. Um, so yeah, that's it for today, you guys. Thank you so, so much for sticking around. I know, I'm sorry this video was so long, but I got excited on Hamilton book, you guys. <laughs> and I uh, won a little cuckoo. Um, but that is it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Join the family if you haven't, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.